What is up, ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between? How are y'all doing today? I hope you're doing pretty good because today, today we got a response from Quantum and uh, it's pretty interesting one and uh, I'm just going to tell you right now, he uh, he's a little unhinged in this one, a little triggered, a little in his fifis. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys and I'm going to level with you guys on this one. It really feels like he's just trying to stoke the flame again, like what happened with Elden Ring again. Because God knows, God knows his viewership it has just dramatically dropped ever since then. But after all that info dump, I decided to, you know, dump on you guys. I say, let's get right into the video. And hey, before we get right into the video, make sure to go grab yourself a snack or a drink and just, you know, kick back, pamper yourself and enjoy yourself. And uh, we're going to get right into this video. Reliably every time. Why is it always the guys that are the enthusiastic eaters with self-proclaimed thyroid problems that literally go out of their way to crap talk other people. Oh, you dirty bitch, work the shaft. You know, that's really funny, Quantum. I mean, it's like you didn't do it to Act Man, you didn't do it to Mischief, you didn't do it to Griffin, you definitely didn't do it to Review Tech USA, you didn't do it to Klutzy, you didn't do it to Minxie, you didn't do it to Chris, and you sure as hell didn't do it to me, and I bet you regret me even doing that to me. Couldn't tell you but it seems to be a reoccurring thing in the gaming world. All of the people who lost a genetic lottery coming together to try to trash somebody for their take on a video game. I mean, the losers in 2022 are too much, but let's talk about it. Wait, wait, Quantum, you said that was a take on a video game, but what you said in the video is what you, this is, this is what you said in the video. So here we are with PS5 and the Samsung S95B Quantum Dot OLED getting ready to play some Dad of War to show you guys what this TV is gonna be capable of for you guys. So for all you gamers out there, this one's definitely for you. Quantum, that video I just showed real quickly just gave off the impression that you're reviewing that TV, but you're using God of War Ragnarok as an example. And throughout that whole video, mind you, you did like zero reviewing of the TV and you just straight up trash God of War Ragnarok. Like some of the stuff that you've said in that video, I'm surprised that video is not demonetized by YouTube. It's like, it totally surprises the hell out of me. And the other streamers that saw the sections that I was warning them about were absolutely surprised as hell too. It's like, if you guys haven't seen it, if you guys haven't seen the parts that I'm talking about, go to my video, go, well, watch my previous video, you'll see what exactly what I mean. In my last video about this game, The Dad of War, I was talking about how slow the pacing of the game was. Now, I did also leave like a little caveat where I said like, it could get better, I don't know, right? Um, again, very open-ended, I thought, but now you have people like Review Tech USA trying to trash my opinion while candidly playing a video game as if that's not pathetic behavior enough. Uh-oh, I caught Quantum lying again. Quantum, are you sure that's the only problem within it? Are you sure about that, buddy? Are you absolutely positive? You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Don't go watch my other previous video because I'm going to show you guys exactly where the problem was with people that had a problem with his God of War little take i guess whatever the hell it is he's calling it now i mean you've got like two other dogs you have to let go i mean i don't know man is it just me or does it seem like it, it's like hard to love multiple animals like if you got three dogs it's, isn't it like it's i don't know it's weird like i have i'm like i have to have no more than like maybe two maybe three is a bit pushing it for me i don't know personal thing here just reacting to the game that's just a little snippet of what he said. Actually, you know what? Let me show you the other two clips, like the big ones out of that whole video. Of what oh, and Quantum, before you say anything yet again, that Review Tech USA and his little crusaders are here to slander you. If you even watched the man stream, you would understand that he actually defended you and your opinion about how the graphics look and all that type of stuff. Shut up. Especially, especially when I came in there and I told him what was going to happen. He didn't believe me. And he still defended you. Okay, Quantum? How annoying. 
And here is example number three of where uh, a lot of people took that exit stage right and said, no, no, absolutely no. We are making a video on this. This is absolutely horrible. Absolute horrible take. So screw it. We're going to make a video on it. Going to make me pick that one up? Yo, I'm not digging her attitude right now. Like, at all. Good boy. Bro, she needs a fist in the mouth, like straight up. Disrespectful ass. That's why you died. Nobody's missing you right now. Just 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 so you know. Like garbage. Oh, and Quantum, before you say anything yet again that Review Tech USA and his little crusaders are here to slander you. If you even watched the man stream, you would understand that he actually defended you and your opinion about how the graphics look and all that type of stuff. Especially, especially when I came in there and I told him what was going to happen, he, he didn't believe me, and he still defended you. Okay, Quantum? And trying to make it like it's front page news. We're in such a point in society where you can't even play a video game candidly with your audience without people trying to cancel you because they just don't like you. Which frankly, I don't give a fuck that you don't like me, but the fact that you're creating fake news literally trying to claim that I reviewed this game which never took place. Quantum, everybody and their moms, including Fritz, Review Tech USA, and oh no, it's Alex, had watched this video and all said, what the hell happened to reviewing this TV and just using God of uh, Ragnarok as a review? like. A review, not a review, but it's kind of like a staple. Like, what the hell happened to all that, Quantum? And uh, Quantum, nobody was trying to cancel you. We we're just pointing out your bad behaviors. That's that's all we're trying to do. And another thing to add to the list too, there is a fate worse than being canceled, Quantum. Do you want to know what it is, Quantum? It's called being a lol cow. Okay, just like DSP, Wings of Redemption. And let me tell you, Local Town is population three, including you, DSP, and Wings of Redemption. That is a fate worse than being canceled. And, and came up with some imaginary verdict, again, which never took place. It, it speaks everything about the desperation of the individuals that support Review Tech USA, that watch his shit, are trying to go to, to try to cancel somebody because they don't like them. Now, let me talk a little bit about this game, okay? If they would have opened like this... The game would have been a solid 10 out of 10 because they have a point in the game when you first open up the game where it talks about give me a recap. If you don't want the recap, they shouldn't be sitting around a campfire on a very slow paced scene rehashing a lot of the concepts like hunting and him being a dad. I'm sorry, Quantum, do you even know what game you're playing right now? Did you even read the back behind the box where it says, you know, Kratos and Arterius, if I'm saying his name right, with Kratos' the son, I should just say that they're trying to prevent Ragnarok from happening. That's why they're hiding, okay? This is not a hard concept to take. And for the love of God, for the love of God, Quantum, nobody's trying to cancel you anymore. You're beyond that. You are at low-cal status, okay? We already saw all of that in the first game. We don't care about that. We want immediately a continuation, who's coming for you and why. And that's the kind of stuff we needed to see. This opening action scene from the get. Not me sitting there for like a minute and 50 seconds while, while he's just sitting around a campfire eating shit. Like that is not how you hook people with writing. And I think, again, creative writing is what's missing from the opening of that story that made it so insufferable for me. And I was bored out of my mind. It really was. Quantum, I'm going to bet money right now that you have no fucking idea why Thor is coming after you and Odin's coming after you right now. I'll bet you money right now that you have zero idea. Bet right now. Hey, Quantum, let me explain this once again for you. This is how you build atmosphere. It doesn't take a fucking genius or Albert Einstein to figure this out. But I guess it's rocket science for you, so you'll never really truly figure it out. And I did indeed have to turn the game off and come back to it like a day or two later because I was bored. And I think, again, had they opened like this, I'd have been hooked from the get. So that concept of like, you know, me selecting get a story because I saw people in the comment section complaining, saying, oh, but you said you wanted a story. You got a story and now you're complaining about it. It's like, no, I got Kratos, Kratos, OK, enough said there, sitting around a campfire 
reminiscing about the old days of, of him and his wife? That's not why you buy an action game like this. Also, Quantum, there is a lot of story in Ragnarok that you don't know that you refuse to understand. Not to mention that you mentioned in your previous video that you were not a fan of the series. So, in all honesty, you're just baiting for views again. That's all you're doing. And I'm going to make sure I farm my favorite local lol cow. Also, Quantum 2, I'm just going to throw this in for you too, since you have a bit of a problem paying attention. Kratos wasn't sitting there reminiscing, looking into the fire. He was waiting for his son to come back with the kill. You know, the one that you were so triggered by. Remember that? Okay, he's, he's like neutered at that point. It's a very watered down version of Kratos, if I do say so myself. There he goes again, acting like he knows what he's talking about. Okay, see, I had to look up some, you know, research some of this and figure out like, okay, he has a point, you know, Kratos is a little weaker than, you know, his previous entries. And spoiler quantum, here's the reason why. He's lost some of the power of hope, which is basically the radiating energy of basically the will to go on in the God of War universe. And here's the funny thing about it, too. Since I did that little research, Quantum, did you know since he lost most of the power of hope, but he still has a little bit of it, that he is actually more physically stronger than he was previously. And when he was fighting against Boulder, he was actually holding back, which is why when he snuck up behind him and grabbed him and prevented him from moving, he is actually using his raw strength, preventing him from doing well what Boulder was going to do. Now... Then we get to the point where I saw them complaining about the fact that I didn't like the graphics in performance mode. And they're like, that's a contradiction. No, it's not. Have you ever played Spider-Man Remastered? Spider-Man Miles Morales? Those games take advantage of some level of the PS5's power. This does not. This is basically a PS4 port. A PS4 Pro port. Let's call it what it is. It is doing nothing more than what the PS4 Pro could do. I mean, Quantum, when you have it in performance mode, yeah, it's going to be no better than the PS4 Pro. Bro, set it to graphic settings and see what you can find out. Maybe it'll look a lot better. Maybe you need to fiddle around with a graphic setting. Is this guy really a PC, a PC guy? I'm starting to question that, too. Also, hey, Quantum 2, the Spider-Man Remastered game is exclusive to the PS5, so it kind of... Your argument there kind of falls flat directly on itself. And it's embarrassing because this is PlayStation 5. They are charging $69.99 under the guise that they're optimizing the graphics so much and they're doing so much. And we can't even get 4K60 in performance mode with temporal, you know, injection. It, it, it's like you could have used checkerboard rendering or some fucking resolution reconstructive method to get us to the higher resolutions. And they didn't. In place of that, because maybe that's too expensive on the hardware. They could have used anisotropic filtering, time 16. I'm not sure if you're stupid, that you had a lobotomy and you just, they took the entire fucking brain. I would like to thank Tony for that meme. Thank you very much. You know who you are, Tony. Much appreciated. Because in this section right here, I'm going to tell you guys right now in Quantum, I know you watch my videos and you might want to pay attention to this. In the graphics and camera section of God of War Ragnarok, options on menu on PS5, you'll find two settings that combine to let you adjust the visuals and performance. First up is graphics mode. Either favor performance, prioritizes higher frame rates over sharper visuals, or favor resolution, prioritizes sharper visuals over a higher frame rate. The other is higher frame rate mode, which is HFR, which can be off or on. This second setting will be available only if your PS5 is connected to a display that supports 4K resolution at 120Hz, which requires an HDMI 2.1 port. Also, I researched the TV that you have right now. It does do HDMI 2.1. So either you don't have an HP HDMI 2.1 or you didn't, oh, I don't know, do some research and see how you could turn on the better... And I do, and I'm quoting this right now, the better settings for your experience to play God of War Ragnarok. 
But hey, we all know Quantum is allergic to research. To give us sharper textures. They didn't. Instead, when you get close up on things, things look muddy. They look like the low textures that they are. And it's terrible in performance mode. Now, you can go to graphics mode and things are sharp, which is great. But when you start moving around, 30 FPS. Because again, you're not getting 4K 60. It gets to a point where you start realizing they're not utilizing the power of this machine. And they're damn sure not advertising or using what they advertised in the beginning when they were like, oh yeah, the PS5 is super powerful, all that good stuff. So my point is simply this. You know, when I say certain things about this game, pointing out weak points in a candid playthrough session, they still stand. It's not a contradiction that somebody wants good graphics on PlayStation 5. That's why you bought a PlayStation 5. Oh my god, it's fucking Elden Ring all over again. Quantum, all you have to do is do basic research. Um, on ba basic research on how to get 4K and 120 hertz so you can actually enjoy the product. But then again, like I said, he's going to act like he knows what he's talking about, what he really doesn't know, when anybody can disprove anything Quantum says just by doing basic fucking research. God, I, I love this locale. I could just milk him for eternity. Also, too, I just found this out, too, just by doing basic research, Quantum, that this is a previous-gen game, so of course it's going to be like that on performance mode. Like, come on. You want the next generation. Otherwise, you would just play, you know, this same exact game on PS4 or Pro and be happy with the graphics that it has. But everybody's always trying to upgrade graphics and get something better out of the experience. And to try to sit there and act like that is not the case. Meanwhile, the moment PlayStation gets a hardware advantage or Xbox gets a hardware advantage, everybody's talking about T-flops and power. Let's call it what it is. People are excited for these games to look better than they've ever looked. Why are we... I, I, I'm stupefied right now. Why, why are we talking about console wars right now? Like, uh... Uh, my head, my head hurts. How did we even get here in the first place, to be honest? This was about, you know, you talking about people dogging on you, and now you're more worried about the console war? Uh. And again, we want the more immersive stories. We don't want slow, boring, neutered versions of characters. Kratos used to be such a badass on PS2, and now you had to wait just to get dual blades. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, Quantum, you are fake as hell. You just called them dual blades? Bruh, do you know they're actually called the Blades of Chaos? And I'm going to let you know too, Quantum, the reason why he put them away is because this is the developer's comments by themselves. We were experimenting with lots of different weapons, lots of different things, Borlog said. I think we wanted to create an identity because to me the blades represent a very dark time in Kratos' life. They were just not a weapon to him, they were his scarlet letter. They are the marketing that somebody tricked him that made that that he had made a bad deal, that he made a mistake. Powerful, but I think also powerfully charged in its motions. So I think part of him wanting to move forward is to be able to leave the blades behind. Also, if you actually played the game too, Quantum, did you know the reason why he went back and got those? Is because Freya warned Kratos that the Leviathan's axe, Frost Powers, will not affect the Helheim, and that he must arm himself with another weapon. And guess what other weapon he has access to in order to save his son? Fucking think about it, Quantum. The, that's something that should have been unlocked from the jump, because you unlocked it from the jump in the last game, but again... They didn't open the game like this with some epic cinematic clash. They opened it with some boring tale of dads. So let me just say it like this. I don't care if you don't like my take. I don't care if you don't like me. But don't go sitting there creating fake news to make yourself some money because you have no real content. And that's really as simple as it gets. I've never given a review on this game. That review is coming after maybe I've beaten this game. But for now, I'm going to enjoy it at my pace. Quantum, nobody did this to you. You did this to yourself. You literally said you were going to review this TV and did no comments towards the TV at all, not even pushing it to its limit while you're playing God of War. And all you did was make snarky little comments, stupid ass comments, and some horrifying comments, which I really don't understand what it had to deal with the TV. It's, it's, it's absolutely mind-boggling that you even thought that you even thought this would even fly. 
And Quantum, don't you dare review God of War Ragnarok. We all know what you do with your reviews. Remember Pokemon Legend of Arceus? Remember uh, <laughs> remember what you did to Elden Ring? And how much of a backlash you got with that? Oh boy, but I'm pretty sure you want this. And I'll be there to cover it. Hopefully I'll have more different videos out. Because honestly, I want to do more videos. And I think I'm going to do it. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this content, please leave a like and comment in the comment section. I always like talking to you guys, and it's always fun, too. And if you guys want more of this content, there is that big red subscribe button. Go ahead and slap it, and it lets me know that you guys want more of these type of videos. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the video, and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, fam.